Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Today I am staying at Dockside Inn for the very first time. I have yet to stay at an Inland Summer Resort. This is my first time getting to stay over here at Universal's newest resorts. This is Dockside Inn. They also have Surfside Inn that's across the street but today I am staying in a suite at Dockside Inn. So in this vlog, I'm going to give you a room tour of one of the suites, plus show you around the resort as I experience it over my two day stay here at Dockside. So originally my plan was to stay at Endless Summer and I had multiple nights booked because they had a crazy low annual pass holder rate it was like $80 a night and I jumped on it and then plans changed and I was only able to stay for two nights of this weekend and so I changed my reservations and when I did they no longer had that rate or that room available at Surfside however they had this room available at Dockside it's definitely more than $80 a night however it's still less than my total would have been if I stayed at Surfside all those nights but I believe this suite currently running a 140 a night with annual pass holder discounts. And let me tell you, the lobby is packed. So that might be one of the higher rates for it because they're definitely, if not sold out, close to sold out. There's a ton of cars, a ton of people here, I assume for Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> it's just a very busy time right now. So let's tour the room. And I have to say it gave me a great first impression when I walked in. I was pleasantly surprised by how big this room was. So I'll turn you around and let's start the tour. So when you first walk in, this is what you see in the dockside suite. Cup not included. But you've got this nice table, a fridge, a sink, some storage. And the other thing about Duckside and Surfside is that in order to start your power, you put your room key in. So I put my room key when I walked in and it turned on the lights for me. Now the AC was already going, but for lights, I had to put in my key. So that's a cool little efficient feature. But moving into the room, we've got two, these are like queen size beds. Those are, I believe they're queen size beds. Got reading lamps above the bed, which are super cute. Aw. Those are really cute. I love those. We've got some actual ocean pictures. So it's not the bay, but ocean pictures. You've got some storage if you're the type of person who unpacks. You've got a cute little decor piece here. Obviously a giant TV some hooks to hang items which is neat which i didn't talk about but they also have hooks over here which i will definitely be using for my purse so those are neat and then your ac units over there your little nightstand looks like a little trunk we've got one usb so not as good as, say, Aventura that's got tons of USBs and plugs and outlets and everything like that, but I always bring my plug just in case, so it's not a big deal to me. We're going to come back to the view in a second. There's the other side of the table, other side of the view when you walk in, and then the suites come with an additional bedroom. So I actually haven't walked in here yet. Cute. And this is your closet. Okay, I'll definitely be using that. I always set up my suitcase. I don't know where I wanna sleep. It's just me, so <laughs> I might take this room because it's nice and closed in. We'll see. I'll take, I'll take my choice. Maybe one night I'll sleep in here. The next night I'll sleep in here. Who knows? And then very nice feature for a suite Double sinks. Double sinks are always a selling point to me because I take over the sink. I have so much makeup and everything that I put on the sink. So for Mike, it's very nice for him to have his own sink and not have to worry about sharing with me. Storage, hair blow dryer, and then this, which I will say is a pretty small bathroom. 
However, I love this tile. This tile is beautiful. I love that color. To me, this seems small for a suite, especially compared to the bathroom that you would get at Cabana Bay, which is the other quote unquote value resort for Universal. Their bathrooms, you get a separate room for the shower with a sink, and you get an additional room like off to the side that has the toilet, and then your sinks in between. So it's a little small if you're sharing with lots of people, but hmm, it's still cute. It's fine for me, obviously. But if you were going on a trip with multiple people, maybe Cabana would be the better fit, but this is cheaper. So depends on what's more important to you, the rate or the space. So yeah, that's our room. Now, I don't know that the view is gonna be that, I mean, I already looked at the view. It's a great view. I just don't know how much it's going to be terrible lighting for you at the moment. So I will definitely film it again tomorrow when the sun isn't beating into my window, but check out the view I have. So I am on the very top floor and I have a pool view. There you go. So I'm on the top floor, as I said, there is the view of one of the pools. So I am in tower one right now. There's another tower on the other side. So they have their own pool. The Oasis Beach Bar, I'll probably be checking those out tomorrow. And then when I pan up, that is Surfside across the street. You've got the volcano from Volcano Bay. You can see the Cabana Bay towers as well as some of the Cabana Bay Resort. And there's Aventura there. These are attacking me. I'm trying to show you <laughs> and I'm getting attacked. Okay, I'm just blinding myself, it's fine. There's Hogwarts Castle. There's Dr. Doom. And that giant building is the Jurassic Park building for if you do the water ride, the classic Jurassic water ride, that is the ride tower. That's pretty sweet. Oh, oh, and, oh, I don't know. I can find it in my eyes. I can't find it in the viewfinder, but I think right about there, you can see the top hat for Velocicoaster. Oh, there it goes, it's running. Pretty sweet view, what else can we see? Orlando, oh, there's the Orlando Eye or whatever they're calling it these days. I've lost track. They've changed the name so many times I've lost track, but the, Icon Park area right over there. So yeah, it's a pretty sweet view. The pool looks very inviting right now, that's for sure. So first impressions, driving in, super easy to do. I will include a little clip that I filmed as I pulled up to give you some other first impressions that I had, so I'll include those here. This is my first time driving over to this part of the property since Endless Summer opened. So you've got one set of resorts on this side and one set on that side. I think I'm going to that one. I'm going to dock side this time. So yeah, interesting to see it. Wet and Wild used to be right here and that used to be Wet and Wild's parking lot. So crazy. Okay, so we are here. I am parked in the check-in parking. Super easy to get to from I-4. Exciting to see a resort I've never been to before. It's all new to me. So let's go check out Dockside, get checked in, and get excited for weekend activities I'll tell you about in a moment. So let's go see Dockside. When I got into the lobby, the lobby was a little bit of chaos, and that's just because the parks are so slammed right now because of Halloween Horror Nights. So like I said, most of the resorts have been sold out every weekend or close to sold out every weekend thanks to Horror Nights, and this weekend is no exception. Horror Nights is sold out tonight. Tonight is... Today is October 16th, and I know Halloween Horror Nights is sold out tonight. They already announced it. So I do expect a lot of these people are planning to go to Horror Nights tonight. So the lobby was a little chaotic. I did mobile check-in, and mobile check-in so far has worked flawlessly for me. Mobile check-in, you get your own line when you get here, and then you just show your ID, you pick up your tickets, you're good to go. You've done all the rest online before you got here. Now I've heard some horror stories that it doesn't always work flawlessly, but so far for me, every stay I've done this Horror Nights has worked out great. So I got my keys and kind of skedaddled out of there. I will definitely try to check out the lobby when it's not Saturday afternoon. I assume Monday will be a little quieter. Maybe even tomorrow will be a little quieter, but it was a little too crazy down there for me to try to film at the moment. So. I want to explore through the lobby. There's a Starbucks down there. They have their own restaurant and they do stay open late 
for Horror Nights Nights, she told me there's pizza. <laughs> I'll definitely take you guys on a tour of the tower, of the lobby, the pool. I plan to check it out tomorrow. Tonight I am not doing Horror Nights. Tonight I'm doing Hallow Scream Orlando, which you will have already seen that vlog. So I'm straight chilling because that doesn't even start till seven. So Michael's going to join me here in about 30 minutes to an hour. We're going to hang out here for a little bit do Hello Scream, and then tomorrow I'm planning to enjoy the resort, definitely check out that pool and the Oasis bar, and relax before going to Horror Nights tomorrow night. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get all settled in, get unpacked, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow for more of the resort. So I just did an important thing that I felt like some of you would be curious about, is that I just sat on the bed, and I have to say, surprisingly comfortable for a value resort. I was a little worried. I was a little worried it was gonna feel cheap or box springy, but it does not. They actually feel quite nice. I'll sleep on it and give you a full review once I've slept on it, but from first impressions, I feel like these mattresses are better than what's at Cabana Bay. And I love Cabana Bay. It's You guys know, I love Cabana Bay. I love that resort, but the beds could be better. So we'll see. This feels nice on first impression. I'll give you a review tomorrow because I know some of you have asked me that in the past. So you're like, okay, that's great. But what about the beds? Are the beds good? So I'll give you a review tomorrow once I've slept on it. Look at this sunset. Florida is showing off tonight. It's about time to leave for Hallow Scream, but look at that. So pretty. Well, I just got back from Hallow Scream and I had to show this beautiful view. Nighttime views. I should probably turn off the other light and get even better views, but there's your first look. Most importantly, I got the post Hello Scream pizza. Wow, that actually looks pretty darn good. That is definitely a different pizza than what I got at Aventura. Dang. All right, Dockside. I'm pretty excited for that. Good morning, everyone. It is day two at Dockside. I'm just here checking out the pool. It's not too busy this morning. There's a lot of chairs available over there in the shade, which is where I would want to be. And it looks lovely. So it's Sunday. I don't know if it's going to get a lot busier down there or not. Maybe a lot of people checked out because they were here for Saturday night of Horror Nights. We're going to find out. But first, I'm going to go down to the lobby and get some lunch have a little food, and then I'm gonna come back, get changed in my bathing suit, and go check that out, spend my afternoon down there. Let's go see the lobby. I saw it last night when I got my pizza, but I haven't shown you guys, so let's go see what the lobby's like this morning. Also, update on the bed. Slept very well in the bed. The pillows, however, leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> the pillows, I should have brought my own, but it was just gonna be me and I didn't wanna have to make two trips to the car. I didn't wanna have to carry too much, so I didn't bring my pillow. Kind of regretting that. The pillows were a little rough, but the beds themselves, very comfortable. So let's go get some lunch. Okay, so I'm walking from my tower into the lobby. So this is your view of the lobby when you come in. As you can tell, there's a lot of people here today still. You got your Starbucks. Around the corner, got your Universal store in the back, and check in on the right. We've got some Horror Nights merch right there, and then the other pool, the other pool is this direction, and they have their own bar. They have a different bar than the one that's at mine. Curious, I'll have to look at the menu and see what it's different. Here's their Endless Summer specific merch. Got a towel that looks just like Cabana Bay's towel. We got some socks. <laughs> oh, they got an ornament. Cute. So I'll definitely be taking advantage of the Starbucks tomorrow when I go to check out. Maybe later tonight. We shall see. And then past the Starbucks, we've got a little lounge area, a full bar that's not currently open, but a nice full bar. And then you go into the dining area. Lots of open tables back there. 
Oh, I kind of like the ones along the windows. Very light, airy vibe to it. Very nice beach colors. I love the color scheme to this. And then you're under the dock here, hence dock side. So we're sitting under the pier. Heading back to the actual food court. Let's go check it out and see what they have. First thing is grab and go. Got Pop Tarts, snacks. Ooh. Full on sorbet and gelato. Fun. Got to go beverages. First station, we have fried chicken. Ooh. So you can get fried chicken waffles, an eight piece meal, two piece meal. And they have various sides, various sauces. Let's see? Oh, you're fine. I'm zoomed in. You're fine. <laughs> then over here, we got pizzas. These are pizza options. I had the cheese last night. It's quite good. But there's also, it looks like avocado toast. Where is that? I'm very curious about that one. I don't see that. And over here, we've got burgers and sandwiches. Cheeseburger, turkey burger, a mahi sandwich, a Beyond Burger, a shrimp. But I don't see that wrap, and I don't see the Reuben that was up there. Ah, here they are. Here's your Reuben. Cuban. Turkey Club. Smoked salmon sandwich. Alright. Interesting. And then they've got pre-mixed salads. Cub salad, grain salad, chicken Caesar, Greek salad. So there's your salad options. You got your dressings. Ooh, that one looks amazing, honestly. That Greek salad, I might do that. Kind of standards down here. But that Greek might tempt me. We've got various pastries and some cakes that you can grab and go. Key lime pie, cupcakes. Okay, so here's some of the sandwiches. They've already got it pre-made. There's the avocado toast. I'm gonna pass on that. That looks like some guacamole <laughs> on top of it, and that's not my thing. There's some of your croissants, and there's the smoked salmon sandwich. So it's basically a lox bagel, which that's also tempting. Here's some examples of the dock worker Reuben, the Cuban, the cheeseburger. There's the turkey burger. A mahi sandwich and a Beyond Burger. Got French fries or tater tots. They also, it's not Dippin' Dots, it's mini melts, but they're grab and go. So if you like Dippin' Dots, they got you covered. And I saw people doing this last night, but you make your own. It's like a screen, you decide what you want, and then it makes it and just delivers it to you. High tech. And they also have some grab and go sandwiches and wraps down here at the end. The cheese breeze. Ooh, that is humongous. That's like a caprice. We have some soups. I don't know, guys. I don't know. So it was pretty crowded in here when I first got here. It was about 12.30 when I walked down. And after roaming around, it's about 1.30 now and it's much calmer in here. So I ordered to go, but I ended up just deciding to stay. I got the coconut shrimp. Comes with, looks like a mango sauce, orange sauce. I can't tell, probably coconutty as well. Tater tots, coconut shrimp. I'm gonna go get some ketchup for my tater tots. But that's what I was feeling today. Um, Could have gone for the salad, but uh, I went for a fried standard instead. <laughs> All right, I'm back upstairs. Lunch was pretty good. Uh, not too bad, obviously, just like some frozen coconut shrimp that they fried for me real fast. I will say for being such a big resort, which I don't know the room comparison, obviously Cabana Bay is larger because it has the two towers plus the indoor long corridor rooms plus the outdoor entrance rooms. Definitely more beds at Cabana Bay, that would be my guess, than here. But it's a pretty large resort and to only have that 
food court as your food option. The pool bars do not have food. I checked online, they are just drinks and both bars have the same menu so you don't have to try to go to either bar. I did check that out. That's your only food option. There's no other restaurant here. There's Starbucks obviously, but there's nothing else but that little food court. And whereas at Aventura, it just has the food court, but you can easily walk to Sapphire or get across to Cabana Bay if you wanna have other food options. Here, unless you're using the food court, you have to go to City Walk, I guess, to try to get anything else or go to one, I mean, you can go to one of the other resorts, but it's just harder than Aventura. Whereas Cabana Bay, I feel like you have a ton of food options. You have everything that's there in the food court, plus both pools have food available. And if you're really wanting something else, you can go across the street and go to Sapphire Falls to go to either Strongwater or their pool has food or Amatista. So I feel like your food options a little limited here, but again, for the price point, if you have a standard room, you're paying anywhere from like 80 to $100, I think is the standard. I think $99 is the standard rate for one of these rooms at the moment. Not so bad. If you're gonna spend all your time in the theme parks and you're not worried about chilling at your resort, then by all means, I think this is a great value resort for that. And it is a value resort for a reason. It's not gonna have all the amenities that Sapphire has as a more moderate resort. While I don't think we'll stay here for a Halloween Horror Nights trip in the future because for Halloween Horror Nights, we spend most of the time in the resort if we're not at Halloween Horror Nights because we're reserving our feet for the night. I could easily see us coming to do a weekend stay here and using this as the home base, but not needing all the amenities that we usually have at Sapphire. I'm gonna go check out the pool here in a little bit. I'm gonna change my bathing suit, go check that out. I'm gonna probably order a cocktail. <laughs> You'll see why when I get down there. Check that out, check out that scene, see how I feel about it. Overall, I'm very impressed compared to Universal's competitors, especially, you know, the Disney Value Resorts. You're not getting this room at a Disney Value Resort. And I love both. I'm not Universal loyal, I'm not Disney loyal. I love both entities. However, I really think Universal knocks it out of the park when it comes to their hotels. Their resorts, you just cannot beat the value of their resorts. So I love that I have basically whatever resort on Universal property I feel comfortable staying at. Now I haven't stayed at the top tier ones because they're a little past the price point I wanted to pay. Maybe someday I will get a pass holder rate where I feel like, yes, let's go for a special occasion. But from Sapphire, Cabana, Aventura, Dockside, at some point I'll go stay at Surfside just to compare the two. To have all of those as options is fantastic. So it won't beat out Cabana Bay or Sapphire Falls as my two favorites. I think I would still choose Cabana Bay for the theming, but I do really love the color scheme and the vibes. It's very chill. This seafoam blue is one of my favorite colors of all time, and it's all throughout the lobby. It's in the tile, it's everywhere, so I love that. That's just a personal thing. I also do love that it's not carpet. Similar to Aventura, Aventura has these floors, which is a great perk if you're someone that gets weirded out by hotel carpet. So I stayed in here. I very much liked that little space. I just realized you can see the water coming out of the volcano over here. You can actually see the water. Look at that view. Hello, volcano. I will try out the transportation for the first time tonight because I will be taking the bus over to Halloween Horror Nights. Obviously, that's a little different than going to the parks during the day, but I'm anticipating the buses to be just as good as Cabana Bay's. We shall see. Obviously, if you're wanting express passes or anything like that, then you have to go up a tier. You have to go to Royal Pacific, Portofino, or Hard Rock if you want express passes. None of these resorts have that. As an annual pass holder, that's not a concern for me because I'm gonna go plenty of times. I'm gonna get to ride whatever I wanna ride. But if you're trying to just knock out Universal Studios, then maybe you want the express passes and you wanna stay at one of the top tier resorts. And the pool is much more empty than yesterday. So Saturday was definitely everyone in the pool. <laughs> the bad news is that I found out that Horror Nights is sold out tonight. So uh, I'm gonna be with a bunch of crowds tonight. So I might as well go relax and enjoy the peace and quiet while I can. Ooh, look at that blue sky. It is Florida fall today for sure. 
you can feel, how much dry the air is. Let's go check out the pool. Let's go. So this pool is currently closed Monday through Thursday and only open on the weekends. I assume that's COVID protocols. But ooh, it's gonna be lovely sitting in the shade today. Ooh. Oh, and they still have the QR codes on the chairs. Excellent. I might take one of these right back here. This is nice. Oh. So it was so humid at Hello Scream Orlando last night, and then we had a cool front come through last night, so the air is much cooler today. It feels wonderful. So this little area has a beach, and then there's a little splash pad. I think I'm going this direction to be closer to the water. I mean, this looks pretty darn good right here to me. Nice and quiet and secluded in the shade because I am too pale to be sitting out in the sun. Okay, so I did the QR code and it takes you currently to Dockside Pizza to go. That's all that you can order through the QR code right now. But you can get pizza delivered directly to your seat, so not too bad. But I'm gonna go investigate a beverage. Ooh, also gonna grab a towel and put that on my seat so no one comes to take my seat. Score. There, I had my book saving my seat. Now I've got a towel and my book. Back here in the back corner, we have the Oasis Bar. Ooh, it's definitely warmer when you get in the sun, let me tell you. Still toasty, don't get me wrong. Cute. Well, look at this little view. Very nice. Okay guys, so I got the Disco H2O. I had to, and it's got Skittles in it. So it's vodka, lime, Skittle syrup, soda, and Skittles that have kind of floated to the bottom when I started walking. They dropped to the bottom. But check that out. <laughs> I mean, it was called Disco, I had to get it, right? So let's go back to my chair and try it, see if it's any good. Okay, slightly moved chairs, because I came back and a family had set up like one chair away from me. <laughs> All these chairs and they chose the one right next to me. So moved a little further down. Let me get all set up. Here's my view All right, let's try I'm having to do the paper straw the skittles are kind of melting Ooh, It's sour <laughs> It's sour the lime juice I was worried about it being too sweet with the skill syrup. It's actually not. Is it Strong Water Tavern? No, but it's fun. Now I just have mystery Skittles because all the color came off. <laughs> uh, as I'm drinking it, I would give this a two out of 10. Do not recommend the disco drink. I had to order it for the name, but I do not recommend. There's really no balance of flavor. You can't taste the vodka, but it really just tastes like I'm drinking lime juice like a lot of lime juice with a little squirt of sprite so as much as i love lime juice this is this is not doing it for me so i might ditch this and go to starbucks and get a starbucks instead to have at the pool because it's so nice out it's just so chill it's actually too cool in the shade that I don't even want to get in the pool. That's how much of a temperature difference we've had. And it's probably like 83 degrees right now. But it's 83 degrees with no humidity. Let's check. Let's see what it actually says. 80 degrees. 80 degrees at 2.55 p.m. What? <laughs> that is Florida fall, y'all. <laughs> it doesn't get much more fall here than that. And the low tonight is 63. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Oh, it's going to be 79 degrees by 6 p.m. It's gonna actually be in the 60s at Horror Nights tonight. I'm glad I bought my flannel. Oh my gosh. At close tonight, it's gonna be 66 degrees. Feels like 66 degrees, so I cold. Oh. It was so warm at Hello Scream Orlando last night. That's so funny. I cannot wait. Like this is as hot as it's gonna get all day. And this is lovely. Oh, Horror Nights is gonna be fantastic. No wonder it's sold out tonight. <laughs> it's just gonna be lovely. 
Okay, I went and got Starbucks. This is much more the vibe. It's Florida fall. I want the fall drink. I think this is where I needed to be. Oh, yes, the best pumpkin cream cold brew I've gotten all season. A plus of that barista, so good. Delicious. Well, it's been lovely, but the sun found me. I've been here long enough that the sun has taken over my chair. So I'm gonna go back into the room and start getting ready for Horror Nights. Oh, the breeze, so lovely. Okay, so this is a little wild. Apparently since the last time I was here and I stayed at Cabana, they've started construction on where the buses drop you off. So they drop you off pretty far down the road and you have to walk through this makeshift path to get up to the escalators. Did not know that when I booked. But uh, yeah, even more walking, just what you want during Horror Nights. Well, good morning, Dockside. The pool is closed because it's Monday. The volcano's going. There's another helicopter going over because there's like 5,000 helicopters that fly over Orlando at any given time now because there's so many tours happening. There's so many tourists here. If you didn't know that's a thing, that's a thing. You can rent a helicopter and do aerial tours of all the attractions. And apparently it's very popular these days. They had about 20 go over when I was sitting down in the pool. And Brittany and I have been noticing a ton of them at Horror Nights this year. So that's a thing you can do. I am getting ready to check out so I just wanted to give one more little peek at what I can see. Oh, the Hulk's running. There goes Velocicoaster. Sadly, this day has ended. So I need to pack up and grab my stuff, load up my car, go to Starbucks, and drive back home. I'm gonna do a very quick review of the buses and then I'm heading out, but I only took the bus to horror nights so I didn't do any day trips so I don't know how they run during the day but I assume they're just as solid as the Cabana Bay buses. I took the bus to horror nights last night, walked out of the lobby, there was a bus sitting there, got right onto the bus. We waited a little bit of time for some more people to load on the bus and then we left. And this is where we ran into trouble because last night was a sold out night of horror nights and I think because it was a school night, it was a Sunday night, people were arriving on the early side. Now I say early side because I got on the bus at 6.45. Now the park opens at 6.30. I was trying to avoid the initial rush into the park since I have express. I was trying to get there around seven-ish. So I got on the bus at 6.45 and we hit parking garage traffic. So both parking garages, we could see it from the bus, were backed up basically all the way to the road. So a ton of people were arriving early, planning to leave early, I assume. So that meant that we got stuck in traffic for a while and that was probably the case for Cabana Bay too. They come in from a different road, but they were probably stuck in traffic too. So I ended up being basically a 30 minute bus ride to go basically just across the street to Universal. So that wasn't the most convenient, but you would have dealt with that coming from any hotel because you would have been driving yourself unless you're staying on the boat loop hotels and either walking or taking the boat. So if you were staying off property, you would have had to be in a car in that. I'd much prefer to be in the bus in that and get dropped off. The second thing at this moment is that they are redoing the bus station apparently and that started after my last trip at Cabana Bay because when I stayed at Cabana Bay um, about a month ago, the bus station was still normal. <laughs> but last night, they've got it all torn up in the middle and so the bus for endless summer drops you off like way at the end and you have to walk through all the construction to get back so at the end of the night at four nights I was like Ugh. but aside from that it was fine and at the end of the night walked out of the park walked all the way down the gauntlet of construction walls and there was a bus waiting for me I got on it they filled it we were back in no time bus system seems just as good as cabana I have Nothing but good things to say about the universal bus system. It's way more efficient than when I've stayed at Disney resorts where you actually have to sit there and wait. It might be 30 minutes before you catch a bus. It is not like that. It is pretty much a bus is there waiting to take you or you stand there and like a minute later one shows up. Their bus system is super efficient. It's a much shorter distance that they have to go over to the park. So very, very efficient. So buses get a thumbs up. 
Okay, I just have to vlog this. So this is the parking garage. And when I got here Friday, no, Saturday, when I got here Saturday, I would say 80% full, maybe 85% full. And then when we got back from Hello Scream, I got the very last spot. That's my silver SUV all the way down there. That was the very last spot on this entire level. And now here we are Monday morning <laughs> and it is empty. So this is the second level. There is a third level. And obviously there's a bottom floor. So I assume the bottom floor probably still has a good amount of cars in it, but the top and the middle, empty. So it was definitely some Horror Nights crowds for this weekend, since Saturday and Sunday were both sold out. But now that we've come to the regular part of the week, pretty darn quiet at this resort. I am heading out, leaving Endless Summer, but it's been a great stay.